Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Guess what? This is Monday morning. With Merle and Patty. Here we are. Merle and Patty. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Full board holiday season it is December. Whatever you celebrate, celebrate everything. That's what we do. Yes. Um, but yes. also, this is the time when we're around family that we start sometimes we start to question ourselves. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Love you. <laughs> and it, when that's that's the connection. It's we're talking about your sense of worthiness today, and what can you do when you're not really feeling you're full on? Are there certain things you can do to make yourself feel better? Feel better. Like whatever your situation, you have to see, you know, family members that you don't have the best relationship always, or in-laws you don't have the, or you're not in a relationship and right. you want to be, or you are in a relationship that's right. not going the way you want it. Right. And all this reflects on how we feel about ourselves. Yes. Even just our yes. own, oh my gosh, which I'm going with. I ate too much. <laughs> I ate too much all week. Oh wait, I ate too much all month. What happened? Ah, I don't, I'm bad. I feel bad about myself. So you get to that point. What yeah. do you do? You kill yourself. You kill yourself. No, we we are not telling anyone to kill ourselves. We are saying like, what's ways to feel better about yourself because we, as we always talk about, it's perception. Perception changes everything. So your perception of I'm not worthy of love or looking good in my only day dress or I'm not worth whatever that is. Or I'm as bad. I ate those cookies. I ate those cookies. Um, it's, it's doesn't matter. Yeah, it. it you can you can learn the compassion that you have for others and you can give it to yourselves you can take note of how you feel about somebody else that uh took an extra cookie or said something that was slightly not appropriate and there are some times when you get really angry at that person uh, be, but, but it's because you didn't like him in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> but anybody that you admired or liked, when they do something a little not a little off target somehow mm -hmm. or the other, then you forgive them. You are compassionate of them, and that's what that's what you need to remember towards yourself. Yes, because. If you're going to have a best friend, it really ought to be yourself. And if you can have compassion for a best friend, you really need to have compassion for yourself. So if you have compassion for yourself, you're going to say, oh, you know, I'm not really feeling like I'm doing everything I should in this world. And probably if you're like, every other single person on the entire earth. Even those people that are doing fabulous stuff that you say, oh my gosh, how can they be doing that much? They're feeling like, but I could do one more thing. And maybe that's how we're geared. That's, that's how we've survived for this long. But just know that that kind of goes with the territory and that actually you're doing fine. And the part that you're not doing fine enough, you're getting better at. And so, yes, we need to change, change perception. Perception. And even if we're not getting better at, even if maybe we are falling down a temporary rabbit hole, we are, That's I'm just right. going to go by the moment of the day. I'm, you're cheating on your diet. You're doing this. That, that doesn't make, <laughs> reflect on who you are. Even what you're doing, even if you're not being your right. best self, even if you're, oh, okay, I'm being a little right. lazy or I, right. I'm not getting out like I should to go meet people because my, right. my relationship people told me, I took a class and <laughs> said go out and meet people and I'm not, you know, it doesn't reflect on your worthiness. Right. But we think right. it does. Right. So what are some, and we said about, you, you can go to the gym. Can you go to the gym for your worthiness? Yes, so, you can. So how do we go to the gym for our worthiness, Merle? Well, you create a worthiness gym in your house. <laughs> okay. Work out at home. Because there's no, no machines that you need. But <clears throat> you can create some exercises that will build that, that worthiness muscle. And one of the things that you can do is let, let's just start with 
hey, this is a holiday season. We're almost at the end of the year. Just go for as long as the year is to the 31st and have a little journal. Everyone says you should write it out hand, longhand. Uh, I'm, I, I, I do computer. <laughs> they say that it connects to your muscle, to your brain better if you write it out. I have terrible handwriting, but you may have good handwriting. Either way, have a journal. Everybody tells you journals. This is, you only have to write one sentence in it every day. And that one sentence is one thing that you did that was a good thing that day. That's all, just one thing. And you can never be stuck with either I didn't do anything. Because if you didn't do anything, you can write down, I am still writing down the one thing, the one thing that I did today that's good is I'm writing this down. I'm writing it down. I'm, I'm chosen to write it down there I'm in that journal. So you can't fail as long as you do. If you do it. And you could, it could be anything. What does the good thing mean? It could be, you know, an act of kindness. It could be something that made you herself happier, a you know, to, to build your self-esteem. It could be helping somebody else. It could be a word. It be, could be anything. Just yes. like one good thing. Yes. Just one good thing is writing down one good thing. That's is, it. That's I even it. tried and tried to create a good thing. And you'll be surprised how many good things you do in a day. Yes. Well, we, we don't even want to get into that. No. Just because on a bad day, you think... How many bad things you can do in one day? <laughs> so you just need one, one thing. It's just like, uh, you, you know, the first time I started, uh, at one time I actually did jog. And I tried to jog. The fir at first, I tried to jog. I could not jog for more than a minute. I, I swear to you, I timed it. One minute was all I could jog for. But, so I jogged for a minute and walked for 10 minutes. And then I jogged for a minute and, and worked my way up. You can do the same thing with your sense of worthiness. And I, here's another thing. I think a lot of people think, well, I don't want to think I'm too fancy, too big for myself or my own britches. But you are contributing to the world when you are able to create a greater sense of worthiness. And I will explain how. Because the greater that sense of worthiness you have, the more things you're willing to try. The more things you're willing to try, the more things you do that are successful. The things that you do that are successful, even if you're thinking, oh, they're just for me. First of all, there's people watching you that you don't know <laughs> that are encouraged by you. And uh, it, it, it just gives you the opportunity to do things that will, it, when they affect you, they will also affect other people. So you're, by bringing your own vibration up, you're bringing vibration up for everybody. Yeah. Because energy is energy. I'm the energy witch. So it's like about those those vibes you're putting out, even it's like, oh, life sucks. I suck, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that's like you're a little black hole walking around. If you're just going, okay, well, I might suck a little, but dang it, I petted a cat today. I helped an old lady across the street today. I did this today. You're sending out a little bit brighter vibrations and energy. And then you the bit, I'm, I'm feeling really good now, actually. I... I, I did laundry, whatever the heck it is. It doesn't, and then you're you are shining brighter and brighter, and that reflects on people. It's like a smell. It's beautiful, but guess what it is, Merle? Oh, it's, it's eleven eleven. Oh. It's the magic number. We started something last week where we yes. all want to do a little bit of magic, make a magic wish. Yes. Eleven is a sacred number. We could talk for a whole hour about all what it means to different people. It's an angel number. It's a wish number. It's a sacred number. It's the arches. It's all sorts of things. But right, every right now it's eleven eleven. Everybody, since we're on worthiness, why yes. don't you think about something that that you did today that was good, or that you did yesterday, because it's it's early for some parts of the world right now. Well, they're watching us, so we know they did one thing something good. good. <laughs> or your good thing. So just and then and then just for a moment, make a wish with that something you want to do more, and something that you want to get out of it. It's okay to want good things for yourself. We don't have to feel guilty about that, but that's another no. story. 
So, but so just everybody for one second, close your eyes. Yes. Make a wish. What did you do good? What do you want to do good? What are you grateful for? I think we got it. Yeah. We are yeah. worthy for you guys for listening yes, in. Yes, for yes, for yes, Ian and yes, Katie yes. and Yvonne Alice. and Bradley and everybody. Thank you. And everybody you didn't mention. So um come back next week. Oh no, no, come back tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific, eleven um Eastern for Merle's Pearls. Merle's Pearls yes, of Wisdom. Uh, but I don't have to same time, same place, but. be here. And Meanwhile, buy our books. Buy our books on Amazon, please, and then leave a um, a review. Do it. Do it. Great holiday gifts. Yes. Great stocking stuffers. Hanukkah yes. gifts. Christmas yes, gifts. Yes, Yule yes, gifts. Yes, yes. Kwanzaa gifts. Whatever <laughs> else you celebrate <laughs> gifts. They're both really good. For yourself or for others. Yes. Oh, yeah. you can buy for somebody else. Have it delivered to you so you can you take it, could read put it, it under the chair, read it first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful week, everybody. Come back next week for Monday Morning with Merle and Patty. Yes. Bye. Bye. Wait, oh, we have to turn it off. Yes. <laughs> Where'd the little dot go? Finish. Okay. There. No. Oh, no. no oh, wait. Finished. No.